Bhagavad Gita contains many deep meanings and secrets. This is an attempt to show how Gita can be relevant to the present day life. Gita is not restricted to a particular country, place, community, religion, caste, or even to category of humankind. It contains universal truth and meant for all humans. This is a guide to the humans as to how they should accept the life and live through it pleasing the Lord. Mahabharatha by Lord Vyasa is not 5,500 years old, a generic story about a great war between two sets of cousins. Rather it is living in our minds even today, with the conflicts and decisions one needs to make on a daily basis. Mahabharatha is also the practical reflection of the what Gita tells us. This discourse is basically for those who have no or limited knowledge of Sanskrit. It is for those who are interested in learning more about the scriptural knowledge which exists in the Sanathana Dharma Hinduism. Finally, this English edition is for those who are unable to understand the version of this discourse in Kannada. Things have been simplified to the extent possible, but given the original which is in Sanskrit a highly evolved etymological language, which in turn has been written for simplicity in Kannada, the English edition might only reflect part of the glory of the Sanskrit. The slokas have been presented in the Kannada form, for it is highly difficult to render it accurately in English. The discourse has been structured so that the Kannada verses are given at the beginning of the discourse, and later on in the discourse those verses have been identified as chapter verse format. For each of the verses, a quick simplified meaning has been first given before taking you into the contextual meaning of each of the verses. The approximate meaning for the words have been given and then the word itself is used and the explanation. That way, both the word and its meaning will be easily understood. Sanskrit language has many pregnant meaning for every word. It took the birth of Sri Madhvacharya to give the world the real meaning of each letter, word in the verse. For over 4,500 years, every scholar of repute had difficulty in understanding the real meaning, they basically ended up giving different meanings to suit their thoughts. If this was the situation of the scholars, just imagine the state of the ordinary folks. The real meaning was only possible by Sri Madhvacharya as he was but the son of the Supreme Lord himself, 